Now, failure by the Office of Directorate of Criminal Investigations to collect enough evidence for prosecution has led to many suspects of exam cheating to go scot-free. Secretary of Prosecution Services in the Office of Director of Public Prosecution, Dorko Sudwar, has told the National Assembly's Education Committee investigating alleged widespread malpractices in last year's KCC exams that her office has dropped and withdrawn many cases touching on exam malpractices for lack of evidence. With the country still seeking answers on the alleged widespread malpractices in last year's Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution has informed Parliament that there are 53 active cases in court. However, the National Assembly's Education Committee investigating the alleged exam theft and malpractices has demanded to know why numerous other cases have been dropped before conclusion. ODPP. Uh, Two weeks ago, or about three weeks ago, we had uh, the DCI and the police complaining a lot that every other time they present a watertight case before you, all their cases fall flat. And it has really encouraged exam malpractices in the country. We have instances where the evidential threshold has not been met. And so there are areas that require to be covered and we will return the files to the investigative agencies to cover the gaps so that we can relook we can relook at the evidence. And without evidence we cannot get a conviction. And in most cases, and we can show data, most cases that we withdraw are cases that we have looked for the witnesses many, many times until we are given notice by the judiciary that if we cannot proceed, then we have to withdraw. And that is why we are withdrawing under Section 87, which allows us to come back should we be able to mend the case. Although the Office of the Public Prosecution highlighted the need for seamless collaboration among ODPP, NEC, DCI and the Judiciary, the MPs demanded to know the role of NEC in aiding exam practices, while at the same time calling out both the Judiciary and ODPP for not dispensing with cases that have been in court since 2018. Have you come across instances where you have identified that NEC has colluded and has abated the matter to do with exam irregularities in this country. Parents, teachers, and schools have a stake in this. Schools are very uh, protective over their schools, and even NEC is protective over its officers. And one of the reasons why many cases are being withdrawn or they take very long is that when exams when exams, there is exam cheating and we report in the newspapers, the matter is very hot. But with time, these people are very reluctant to come to court to give evidence. And without evidence, we cannot get a conviction. Prosecutors further called on the National Assembly to review the criminal justice system in order to aid in the successful prosecution and conviction of cases of exam malpractices. Shadrach Miti, KT News. Now, drama unfolded in Parliament last evening as members of Parliament